I'm young, I'm hungry, I just think it's my time. I've more chance of it me with handfuls of rice than you do with them things in the other hands. I'll feel no man, I believe I can beat anyone. Mate, he could be looking at the lights in the first round. Welcome to Before the Bell, 30th of November, Road to Glory, Jeff Sonas versus Bobby Dalton for the Northern Area Welterweight title. Bobby, how are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good mate, very good. Jeff? Very good, thank you. Excellent. All right, lads, I've got lots of questions to ask you both here. I think all the audience are ready for this, but me especially the most. We're going to start off with, by saying a little bit of a question about the whole event. Now, this has never ever been happening in North East Boxing history. First ever time. I mean, a full stack card with 50-50 fights. You've got Northern Area title fights and a little bit more. But right now, this is all about you, lads. Bobby, we'll start with you. How does it feel to be a part of one of these shows, mate? Yeah, it feels good, mate. Like I said, it's bringing uh, a lot of eyes on the small, small little shows on the uh, North East Boxing. Like I said, I think this is the uh, best fight of the night by far, so I'm looking forward to it, mate. And Jeff? Yeah, I totally agree. Um, what he's doing up in the North East now is, is brilliant for the lads, you know. Uh, it's going to be a big stage for, for a, lot of, a lot of fighters for the night, especially me and Bobby. Like you say, it's going to be a cracking fight. Yeah. Well, I've got to say, the first ever time that both your names got put together and presented to me on the table. I was quite shocked. And we're going to kick things off. This might see how this goes, this question. Bobby, when we spoke to you on this stage, the statement you had was, Jeff's time had his time, and now it's your time. Are you going to stick with that statement? Or? Yeah, but, yeah look, there's no disrespect. I respect Jeff, do you know what I mean? But due to no fault of his own, he's been inactive, and uh, I've been active. I'm young, I'm hungry, I just think it's my time. No disrespect to saying, oh, he's had his time, I just think like, this is my time, do you know what I mean? So that was what was meant by that statement. Yeah, I'll stick by it, mate, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, Jeff, I don't know how you feel about that. You have had 17 fights. W would you agree with that? Would you say you've, you've had your time? Would you say you're still just getting started? What would you say? No, nah, I'd say I'm just still getting started. I'm 33. I'm fucking strong as a bull. Um, ask anyone, any of my previous sparring partners. Um, I can hit hard. I can move fast. I've still got the reactions. I've still got my legs. I mean, I have been inactive. No fault of my own. Like I say, I was on for the British and Commonwealth in 2017. Brain scans pulls out. Then I uh, twang my bicep tendon. That put me out for two years. Then COVID came. You know, I mean, I've the last three or four years, I've, I thought I was going to get the ball rolling again. So when I've been getting in my journeyman, I've just been not blowing them out, but just getting my ring time in. But I didn't know it was going to be like a five-month setback. You know, man, after every single fight, you know what I mean? I didn't know it was going to be that much of a lull in between everything. So, but now I think I'm going to get this fight done with and hit the round running. Do you know what I mean? I'll go on the road. I'll, talk, I'll take anyone on. I'm going to... Time's not on my side no more. I need to push forward now, do you know what I mean? I'm still strong, I'm still fast, I'm still sharp, I've got the boxing IQ, I've got everything, do you know what I mean? I ain't, yeah. I ain't going nowhere, I'll be there mate, believe me. Do you think... Like the unit mate. <laughs> do, do you think though, right, so now let's look at the statistics here, look at the facts, right? You've got nine more fights than Bobby does, right, on paper. Would you say that's an advantage? Would you say you know how this game works now? Yeah. What, what would you say, or do you reckon it's, he's still an equal share? Uh, no, definitely not. No disrespect, right? But I look at you as a bigger version of Joe Laws. You're fit, come forward, but you've got nothing up here. My three year old Cocker Spaniel's got more brains <laughs> than you two. My three year old Cocker Spaniel's got more brains than you two put together, right? Joe Laws declined the fight. I openly offered him out in his own gym in Benwell. He, had no, he said no, right? And a fair play for you to take in the fight, but I'm no disrespect, but you can't punch as hard as Joe Laws. And ask Joe Laws what I didn't remember when he was spamming the mate. You may as well bring. Man, mate, so I, mean, yeah, I know, but you may as well mate. bring handfuls of rice. You stand more chance of it me with handfuls of rice oh, than you do with them things in your hands. Right, we'll see, man. I swear to God. I promise we'll you. Tell me you want. I might, I, might, I might not be as strong as a punch, but fucking my physical strength is fucking. You'll find out, mate. No one push me back. Right, I, I miss. I might, my plan's not to push you back. My plan's to let you no. fall into my trap, mate. And I swear these gaps I won't hit you, and you'll no, believe that lay down gloves on. You'll. I will think I'll fold you like see a dead yeah, chair. Fold me like a dead chair. I swear to God, like where it's not a meal, mate. I'll tell you that for free. Right. Well, I'll say that, mate. That's no problem. I'm like, it's not a meal, mate. That's all right. Well, right, man, we'll I'll make you look silly, mate, and I'll, right, we'll just, honestly, you. I'll be there everywhere. All right, and good. every time I do, mate, you'll be over my shoulder and you'll be fucking getting left hooks coming in from everywhere. And I swear, you'll, you'll know. Let's, let's, take, know. let's take a pause there, because this, this is getting a, you know, a bit of sink here, right? But let's, if you found that a little bit spicy, this, this next question I think you're going to find, <laughs> right? But we'll start with you, okay? You're both coming at this fight 50-50, right? The offer got put you to the table. Both North East lads for a brilliant title and a brilliant show. Bob, we'll start with you. Why did you accept the fight when it got presented to you, Jeff Saunders? Fair me, I've been offered six, six, seven names since my last fight. I never heard anything back. Do you know what I mean? They offered me Jeff. I said, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'll feel no, man. 
I believe I can beat anyone, do you know what I mean? I just need the chance to prove it. And what a chance is against a 70 old opponent who was a good fighter, but I'm very, very much underestimated around here. Uh, especially over the 10 round distance, so yes, yeah, can't wait to show what I am, do you know what I mean? Excellent. Jeff, I mean, obviously, you've, you've got a good career. Ask the same question as well. Yeah. What was the reason you accepted it yourself? Yeah, like the same. Um, I was wanting to go down back down to 10 stone. Boxing board wouldn't let me, do you know what I mean? They wouldn't let me fight for an honorary title at 10 stone. They said it wouldn't be too unsafe, do you know what I mean, to make the weight drop, which I think is a load of bollocks like. But So then, they offered me it's super welter. Was it? Yeah, super welter for Bobby. And I said, fuck off. No way my boxing kids that big up that way. Do you know what I mean? I said, well, I'll meet them in the middle. I've got welter weight on the one we weigh back down to 10 stone. Do you know what I mean? So they just said, yeah, if we can boil them down to 10, 10 7, that'd be better for me. Do you know what I mean? Because I'd be comfortable with that weight. Yeah. You've, you know, you've, you've, what's the likes? You've been in pros 157, I think. So he's got like 10 pounds to get off. 153, I've been. In way. I said, I know, but still. Yeah, it's, yeah. Feel yeah more look, mate, it's, 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 it's not going to be easy for me at the weight, is it? No, but, no. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's what I I'm saying. I swear, played for technical, so like I said. But I want to be a big old strong will, let me tell you, mate. What, what, I know, what happened to you and McKenzie? What happened to you and McKenzie? I'm not you and McKenzie. What, I beat you and McKenzie. I'm not you fucking you and McKenzie, mate. Do you I know, but fucking hell, Joel Oz beat you. And they didn't beat me, mate. They beat me on feet, but fucking, I should have beaten him, mate. Everyone knows in that fucking room who won that. I was 18 year old. He just, he just came back from the uh, ABA finals the year before and he beat me on a fucking free tube split, wherever it was, I battered him, mate. Let's, let's ask this question, all right? It's a 50-55, right? We both come in here, <laughs> right? And we're we, we all, we all enjoying this, right? But I think the question is, right, would you say this is a make or break fight for you both? Obviously, this is a 50-50 fight coming in the North East, right? We know all how this goes, okay? The North East is a very small, independent boxing world. Is this a make or break fight for either of you? We'll start with you, Jeff. Uh, so you suppose you could look at it, not really make or break, like, because like I say, I'm, this is just a journey on my step down to 10 stone again, do you know what I mean? Win or lose, I'm going to win, regardless, do you know what I mean? But win or lose, I can still just press forward, do you know what I mean? It's, it's getting me to where I want to be, it's got me weight down against a lively opponent. Um, I'm not looking at I'm going to beat, mate, because I'm not going to get beat. But at the same time, if I get beat, I'm, I've got, I'm still going down to 10 stone, mate, and I'm going to take over. Do you know what I mean? He's yeah. a big lad, do you know what I mean? I'm not used to, like, I am used to, I've always been against bigger kids, do you know what I mean? But size don't really bother me, do you know what I mean? But it's just, it's not my way to be playing around that. It's 10 stone, but like I say, I'm taking it on with open arms, when everyone will see how fucking, how good I actually really am, do you know what I mean? At moving, hitting, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially him, he's going to find out first stand. Bobby, what would you say? Would you say to make a break, mate? Or? Uh, yeah, I think it is for me, like, yeah. can't, on these ticket base deals and that, it's, uh, Hard to really build, that. and like you said, it hasn't went through my mind. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, think it, about that. Here's a big question to ask us both. Obviously, you know, he's, he's a both thriving, but we're gonna keep this for the 30th of November. I'm gonna f ask one final question, all right? And it is if you could say one thing to your opponent right now, you said both face to face. Obviously, there will be times you're gonna come face to face before that fight, but now is to lay all the cards on the table before 30th of November, Road to Glory. We'll start with Bobby. What is one thing you want to say to Jeff before coming fight night? Uh, all the best, I'm fucking coming for you. Every round, if you don't knock me out, mate, you're in trouble. Let me tell you. Thank you. And Jeff? Uh, I'll just, I've got nothing to say far from good luck, mate, and I can't wait to have a pint with you after, I like, but at the same time, I just, I just, I just don't really realise. Like, I've watched your fights, mate, right? And I know what you do. You know what I mean? Your jab, then you've got your another pushing me jab, then you push your right hand, and then you've got us in the back of the ropes. Then you fucking head on my chest, and then you're going for it. I've read you like a book. Do you know what I mean? You've got two dimensions, mate. And it's forward and in the middle of the ring. So, and I know that I fight from all different angles, mate. I'll be fighting from you all over. And I just think, like, I, I don't think you realize what you're getting yourself into, mate. Man. I'm being serious. And, and you, your power's not there. And as the rounds go on, it's like fucking, you know, they just dwindle away, dwindle away. I'm really going to sit back and comfortable and enjoy, mate, and just switching them into you. Right. I promise you, See, mate, the more I'll you see. press on, the more you'll realise that when you go back down and sit in the corner with your dad, you'll go, oh, fuck me, eating that hard, and I'm getting caught, fucking left, right and centre, and your dad will say, pull back, and then guess what happens when you try and box me? I back, man, don't worry about that. Guess what happens when you try and box me? Guess what happens when you try to box me? I'm going to box you, mate, I'm going to walk through him, mate. Right, you okay. sharp four rounds, mate, like everyone is against me, then I get to him, mate. 
Right, okay. I think, All right, I think I but what happens when the Jeff Saunders Saunders fit Jeff Saunders? Mate, do you not well, think I'm the fame of 30th? I'm not saying you're not fit. I've, I've seen you I've seen your Instagram that you train like you've never trained before, mate. And that's mm-hmm. what I'm training for, the best Jeff Saunders, but Good. doesn't matter to me, mate. Good. I'm always fit. So then what happens then while I'm still in your face? At fucking mm. round six, seven, eight. Let's, let's ask that question. Fact, you said that there. You said that there. We'll ask this question, right? We're going to end it right here with this final question, okay? In a very short summary, how does the night end? Bobby. Yeah, Bobby Dalton, late stoppage. Jeff? Fucking fair one. Uh, maybe, maybe maybe victorious, but I don't know. I'm just trying to think, man. If he comes rushes in like a bull, mate, he could be looking at the lights in the first round. Do you know what I mean? So completely rim, but if he gets fucking sloppy and just tries to keep the tapers on and I'm just smacking away, mate. I could get him a late stoppage with any fucking got blown blow his gasket, giving it all. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm very intelligent in that ring. I'm very intelligent. I might not say that, mate, but I ain't gonna blow a gasket, mate. You know that deep down. Well, I bled from the first to the tenth, mate. Don't yeah. worry about that. That's good. Yeah, but what? I'm gonna be a little two local punch harder than you. Man, man. <laughs> well, let's, let's, we'll see you. Uh, let's leave it for the thing. Clip, clip, yeah. clip back. Yeah, clip back. Let's back. clip back. Oh, it'll all be getting clipped. This is all going to get clipped. You're all getting clipped. 30th of November, guys. All right. Let's leave it here. We'll put all the cards on the table, okay? Now it is all down to the 30th of November. The road to glory, Jeff Sonas versus Bobby Dalton for the Northern Area Well Away title. There are still tickets left, but over 70% have already been sold and we're still a month and a half away. So if you want tickets, message both boxers or the promotions page. This is going to be a sellout never ever before in North East Boxing history. So one last time, 30th of November, the road to glory, Jeff Sonas versus Bobby Dolan for the Northern Area Well Away title. This has been Before the Bell. <laughs>